In today's business landscape, diversity and inclusion is not only important for pro-social reasons, but there is very much a business case to be made for diversity. Leaders in their organizations are taking note. In fact, the PwC Global CEO Survey recently found that diversity is now a core component of competitiveness and 77% of CEOs have or intend to adopt a strategy to promote it. Perhaps more importantly, 85% of CEOs whose companies have a formal diversity and inclusion strategy believe that it contributes directly to their bottom line. And the research backs this up. A recent study by McKinsey found that companies that are more gender diverse are 21% more likely to outperform their competitors. Meanwhile, those that are ethnically diverse were 33% more likely to outperform others. But there's a catch. Only teams that can overcome an initial turbulent phase of acknowledging and accepting the differences between the group reap these benefits. Unfortunately, many teams don't survive this initial friction period and never really realize the potential that is inherent in diverse teams. There are many levels to diversity and inclusion, but those levels will vary depending on who you ask. For example, in France, there are 20 diversity categories protected by state law, whereas the Employment Equity Act in South Africa only emphasizes three distinct categories. The main point here is that there is no one-size-fits-all solution to leading diversity and inclusion. And it's important for leaders to find a solution that will work in their unique context. Moreover, there's an important discussion to be had about traditional surface level diversity, things such as race and gender, and more nuanced deep level diversity, things such as values, beliefs, and diversity of thought. Both of these need to be addressed in any program looking to have a positive impact. There is no doubt that diversity and inclusion initiatives can be extremely complicated and onerous. At Towson University, our approach is to take cutting edge research and empirical data and combine this with industry best practices and experience. We believe that this fusion between science and practice sets TU programs apart from others and allows us to provide truly innovative solutions to this complex challenge.